Hello, I'm here with Dr. Padati, who is the State Medical Director, and uh, we are here to answer your questions about the coronavirus and testing for COVID-19. You know, many Iowans are asking if they should get tested, and in fact, not everyone needs to be tested. So Dr. Padati, can you help us understand who needs to be tested for COVID-19 and why? Yes, thank you, Governor. That's a very important question. And what we want Iowans to understand is that not everyone is going to need to be tested for COVID-19. In fact, most of us won't need to be tested. Now, the reason is because about 80% of people are going to have very mild illness. That means it's gonna look something like a cold. And so what we want people to do is stay home when they don't feel well. And we want them to do that for seven days from the start of their symptoms. And for three of those days, they should be fever free without medicines and their symptoms should be improving. Now, when we think about what we usually do for cold or flu-like illnesses, often what we'll do is stay home, get plenty of rest, drink fluids, wash our hands, cover our cough, and stay away from others as much as we can. Now, some people might also want to use medicines like acetaminophen or Tylenol, and some people might like to use something like honey for cough if you're older than 12 months. And for anybody who has underlying conditions or questions about their health, they should call their doctor and ask if they need to be evaluated. But for most Iowans, this will be a mild illness, and the tools of social distancing and staying home when you're sick are gonna be the most important things to do. Well, thank you. I don't think we can th say that enough. It seems so simple, but it, but it, really, it really is. You know, um, I also understand testing supplies are limited nationwide, and we hear a lot about that, and we're working daily to get more testing kits. Uh, like all of the other states, but with a limited su supply, which Iowans should get tested? Yeah, we want to think about what situations where doing a test is going to make a difference for a patient. Mm -hmm. And so we think about our hospitalized patients. And the reason in part we want to test them is because it helps doctors know what to expect if they diagnose a patient with COVID-19. It helps them take care of them better. Now it's also important in a healthcare setting because doctors often use things like personal protective equipment, masks or gloves to care for patients with a variety of illnesses. And we wanna make sure they're using the right kind of personal protective equipment if they're taking care of a patient with COVID-19. That also means that it's important for people like our healthcare workers and other essential services personnel to be evaluated and tested if they become sick. Excellent. So how many, uh, you know, many states also, and you hit on this just a little bit, are having personal protection equipment shortages, and how does that uh, affect testing? So if you could just hit on that one more time. Yeah, so personal protective equipment, again, you may have seen your healthcare providers wear things like masks or use gloves or gowns. Those are tools we use to help protect against a variety of illnesses, not just COVID-19. And we use them not just to protect the healthcare worker, but also to protect illnesses from moving from one patient to the next. And those kinds of equipment need to be used when we're evaluating or testing patients with COVID-19. Now we wanna make sure that we're making good use of our supplies in the healthcare system. And so if we have somebody for whom the treatment plan isn't gonna change, then it wouldn't make sense to use those supplies. And it wouldn't make sense to take up a person's time if at the end of the day, what they're gonna do is stay home, wash their hands and take care of themselves at home. Well, thank you, Dr. Fadati. It's important that we prioritize testing for the sickest Iowans and essential workers, and we're working to get more tests. But most importantly, I just want to reiterate what Dr. Fadati has said, and that's for all of us to continue to do our part, wash our hands, cover our coughs, stay at home when you're sick. And most importantly, if you are feeling ill, to call your doctor first before uh, you head to, to the clinic. So thanks again, and uh, we'll be back to answer more of your questions moving forward.